Hello everybody, it's Linda and I am back to share some happy news and a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts with you. <laughs> yeah, I know you're probably wondering what I'm talking about because last week I announced that I had done my last project for Wild Orchid Crafts because my design team period had come to an end. And then um, <laughs> a couple of days ago, I got a message saying that uh, they were sorry, they'd made uh, a mistake and they wanted me to continue for another six months if I would like to do so. And of course I would. As you all know by now, I really love the Wild Orchid Crafts products, the flowers and the laces and everything is just wonderful. The quality is great and they're just awesome to work with. So um, thank you, Paul and Siri, for inviting me to join you for another six months. I'm really, really happy about it. And uh, I have created an altered canvas uh, as my dissenting project for this week. So, um, and that's, this is the canvas that you can see down here. You can't see the entire canvas. I have to pick up my camera and here is the bottom part and my foot <laughs> and here's the top part of the canvas so i've included some pictures and uh, i'll put some more pictures at the end of this video but i'll try to show you and explain how i've done this so i started out with a uh, what's called a nature canvas and as you can see it's like um uh, what do you call this oh, it's like a burlap color and I have just brushed dry brushed some white paint on the sides here because I wanted some of the color to show through and I did the same on the front um, I wanted to create a birdhouse for this canvas and uh, I did and I just um, when I knew the measurement of my canvas I just uh, smeared paint uh, around it you know so that some parts of the canvas is showing through here, the brownish color, and, and some parts are completely covered in paint. I started out dry brushing white paint, and then I used some blue paint. And the blue paint is this. It's called Sky Blue. I'm sorry that it's not focusing properly. Sky Blue. And it's, uh, as you can see, Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Paint. And after I had done that, then I started uh, creating my birdhouse. And uh, I am going to post a tutorial. Either it's coming up next Wednesday, if I have the time to finish it by then, or the win uh, Wednesday after that. So there's coming a tutorial on how to do a similar canvas as this and how to create this birdcage because I thought it turned out so cool and I'm really happy with it and it's so easy to make. So I just wanted to share with you how you can make your own. And uh, I must also say that I was really inspired by Sack Crafters. Uh, Sack Crafters has got a channel called Sack Crafters here on YouTube. This is inspired by her own creations because Sa, she, you know, she can just make magic out of um, like, chipboard and cardboard and stuff so this is made out of cardboard and some chipboard and yeah really happy with how it turned out and also uh, <laughs> i've got an altered toilet paper roll in here and some of you might be able to guess where it is but you'll see if you check out my tutorial that's coming up later on so as you can see i've used a lot of the wild orchid crafts flowers but first i want to just tell you the the other stuff that's on here before we focus on the flowers i have got a um, punched out border here and that is from a die it's a spell binders die and these flat back pearls they go all the way around all the way around here and uh, this is a diversion die. It's a doily die. And I have just mod podged it onto some Prima paper. Uh, and uh, painted. I painted a little blue, the same blue as here, over it. So I made them like 
they're supposed to be clouds, lace clouds. And the paper that you see in the background here is the Prima Fairy Bell collection. And I just cut out some pieces here and here and also down here in the corner behind here. And the fairy is from the fairy bell. <laughs> and she's so beautiful. And she's holding this little butterfly. So that's that. And the papers that I have uh, glued onto this birdhouse is uh, Prima papers as well. And uh, some of them I think is from a Finnebear collection and some of them is another Prima collection. And all the butterflies that you see around here, there, and everywhere here, uh, they are K and Company die cuts. And uh, I'm really happy with the, how the, the colors fit together with the flowers and everything. So I'm thrilled with that. And I also used some um, fabric flowers or lace flowers that my friend Lele uh, gave me. Thank you so much, Lele. I really love the flowers. I have misted them a little and uh, they fit perfectly to this on this canvas. So now let me tell you which flowers I've used. Oh, first the birds. <laughs> the birds are just from my stash. They're bought from like a dollar store here in Norway. So, um, and that uh, die cut bird is also K and Company. So I have used trellis roses. These are the large trellis roses. And I think these this color, this exact color is not in stock anymore, but I'll link you to the trellis roses anyway, because I really love them. And they have such a beautiful variety of colors available. And this is a cottage rose. And this is just a gardenia spray. So all of this that you see here is one spray and this one too. So that's in that corner. And here up this beautiful butterfly, there is a tea rose, a uh, trellis rose, and some little cottage roses, and um, a bloom. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> sweetheart blossom. <laughs> and that's a sweetheart blossom, and just a resin angel, and a key from Tim Holtz, and a resin heart, and a clock charm up here behind this flower. And these are just some beautiful lace butterflies another of the large trellis roses and cottage roses some large wild rose buds a cottage rose a tea rose another tea rose and the trellis rose and here is another one of those gardenia sprays it's really beautiful and some more trellis roses and cottage roses in between here and there's the tea rose and some more of the beautiful wild rose buds and there's a cottage rose, a larger one behind here. Some cottage roses down here with the lace. And the beautiful lace that you see on the bottom here is from Trezor's Deluxe. And the gorgeous lace here is from Wildercat Crafts. So this beautiful, beautiful lace. I really love that. It's so, you know, it's quite narrow. And it's because it's got like a scallop edge. It is just perfect to, to put around things because you can just cut a little snippet here and then you can, you know, shape it like round as well as just going straight across things. And this beautiful dangle trim here I got from my dear friend Vandana from India. Thank you so much, Vandana. I really love it. And here's another tea rose. And here is a prima flower. And this is a cottage rose again. The trellis rose, a cottage rose, <laughs> and another gardenia spray. So that is the Wildcat Crafts products that I used. And uh, I really hope you like my project. I'm so thrilled to be part of this wonderful design team for another six months. And, and I hope you will enjoy my future creations. And um, I hope you'll be back to check out my tutorial when that's up. So take care, everybody. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.